Hi everyone, welcome to this Redux tutorial for beginners in 2020, part number one. And in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about this. Okay everyone, welcome to this Redux tutorial for beginners in 2020, part number one. All right, so this is a full tutorial on how you can add Redux to your React application, okay? Okay, so this will be a playlist and this will be part number one and after this video you can go to part number two and so on, okay? So what is Redux? So in the big picture, Redux is a state management library. Redux uh, is great if you have a big application to handle state in your application. You don't need to have Redux if you have a small application but if your application grows, it's much easier to handle the application in the long run, okay? So if you go down, we can see the Redux cycle. So we're gonna cover all of this in this tutorial and much more, but uh, in the big picture, we're gonna cover action creators, we're gonna cover actions, dispatch, reducers and state, okay? And all of the other things that we need to do when we are creating these things, okay? So if you go down, we can see what we're gonna cover in this Redux tutorial for beginners 2020 part number one. We're gonna make sure that you have Git. We're gonna make sure that you have Node.js installed. We're gonna make sure that you have Visual Studio Code or another IDE. But in this tutorial, we're gonna use Visual Studio Code. We're gonna create a new React project and we're gonna install everything we're gonna need for Redux. And for a nicer styling, we're gonna use something called Semantic UI. So we're gonna install that as well. And then we're gonna set up the view, the buttons and things like that and we're gonna create an increment and decrement application in this tutorial, okay? Okay, so this is what we're gonna cover in this part number one. So we can go and start with this one, Git. We can just open up a new browser. We can go and search for Git, hit enter, and just click on this one, Git. All right, go to downloads, and download for Mac if you have a Mac and Windows if you have Windows. All right, so pause the video, install Git, all right? Then we're gonna go to Node.js. You can check if you don't know if you have Node.js. Just go and open up your Git terminal. So just type in node space dash v. And if you see the same as I, like v12.13.1, that means you have node installed. You're also gonna type in npm space dash v. And same thing right here, 6.13.2 or the latest version, okay? But if you don't have anything right here, you need to go to a new browser just search for node.js and choose this one, all right? Just download node.js, choose this one, LTS, and install it. Just pause this video and install node.js, okay? Then we're gonna do Visual Studio Code. We can go and search for Visual Studio Code. And of course, you don't need to use Visual Studio Code, but we're gonna use VS Code in this tutorial. So just choose this one. And just download for Mac and download for Windows if you have Windows. And install Visual Studio Code. So just pause the video and make this happen, all right? Let's go back. All right, so when you have everything set up, we're now gonna create our first React project, okay? Okay, so let's go and create our 
React project. And I like to show you how to find the information yourself with docs and things like that. So we're gonna open up a new browser and we're gonna search for create react js like so and we're gonna go down to this one github.com facebook click on that and here we can find how we can create a react project create react app so we're gonna do this one npx create dash react dash app and the name of our project so we are gonna copy this we're gonna open up a new terminal like so so now we can create a project right here or you can create the folder on your desktop so let's say I'm gonna go into desktop as you can see we are now in the desktop mode and now we can do mk D I R and name this maybe Redux Tutorial 2020. Okay, click on enter and now we can check with LS. And as you can see, we got the folder right here. We can go into that Redux. You can hit tab. To finish it off hit enter and now we are in this folder and you can create the react project in this folder but in my case I want to have this in the root so I'm just gonna go out CD dot dot CD dot dot like that and now we're gonna create the react project right here so if you are on the Mac you often need to do s U D O and if you are on Windows you don't need to add sudo just add npx and the rest of the code okay and now we're gonna add a code npx create dash react dash app we're gonna name this to redux dash increment dash decrement like so hit enter and that's gonna add the password like so and this will create the new react project and this uh, may take some time so you can just pause this video and wait for the project to install okay Okay, so like so, everything is installed. If you see this one, CD, with your React project name and npm start, that means everything is all right, okay? Okay, so now we are going to open up Visual Studio Code. So I'm just gonna search, click on that. All right, so now we can click on open folder right here or go up to file, click on open. And just locate the folder. Okay, so this is the one. Redux increment decrement application. Click on the folder and click on open. Like so. Now we can go to this one. Terminal. Click on new terminal. Make sure that you are in the folder. If not, just go into the folder with CD and the folder name, okay? So now we can do npm start. Hit enter. And this will open up the new React project in the browser. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go and install Redux. So we're going to open up a new browser. We're going to search for install Redux. Like so. And we're going to go to this one. Redux NPM. Alright. Click on that. 
and we're gonna go down to this one install the stable version just copy this code now go to Visual Studio Code and we're gonna open up a new terminal just click on this plus sign and make sure that you are in the right folder so if you are on a Mac you maybe need to add sudo if you are on Windows you don't have to after that just install this npm install dash dash save redux and hit enter okay so the redux package is installed let's go back to the browser and go down to this one so copy this one we're also going to install react dash redux so this is uh, so we can use redux in our react uh, application go back to visual studio code and do the same thing if you are on mac sudo and paste the code and click on enter okay so now we have installed redux and react dash redux we can go to this one node modules click on that and check if you have the package so we're gonna go to r and as you can see we have redux and we have react redux so everything is installed let's go back to the overview all right so we have now installed redux so let's go to the next step to add semantic ui okay so to add semantic ui we're gonna go to the browser we're gonna go and search for semantic ui c d n like so hit enter and click on this one semantic ui cdnjs.com and then we're gonna go right here and click on CSS and go down and choose this one semantic.min.css copy this uh, URL go back to Visual Studio Code and close this uh, node module go to public and I'm gonna make this bigger like so and then go to index.html so in the head section we're gonna paste this link so you're gonna type less than link space r e l equals and in double quotes style sheet space href equals and within double quotes we're gonna add the link like so and we're gonna finish this with a forward slash and we're gonna save this file okay so that's it now we have semantic ui in our project so let's go back to the overview okay so the last thing we're gonna do is set up the semantic ui buttons so we're gonna go to the new browser and we're gonna search for semantic ui Okay, so we're gonna go to this one, semantic-ui.com and we're gonna click on menu and we're gonna go down to this one. Under elements, we're gonna click on buttons. So we're gonna find some nice buttons. So we're gonna use one of these. So we want to have a green for plus increment and we want to have a red for decrement minus 
Okay, so let's uh, create the buttons. Okay, so to use these buttons, go to this uh, less than greater than uh, icon. And here we can see the code. So we want to have red and green. So copy this button. Go back to Visual Studio Code. And now go to your SRC folder, open that and go to this one, app.js, all right? And now we're gonna delete everything inside this header. I will keep the header so we get this uh, nice uh, background color, black. And now we're gonna add just a div. And inside here, I'm gonna add h1, like so. And I'm gonna type in counter and zero. All right, so we're gonna change this zero later on to increment and decrement. Then we're gonna add another div. And inside here, we're gonna paste the button code like so. And we're gonna copy this div and paste it right under. We're gonna change this red to green to have a green button. And we're gonna change the text to increment. And we're gonna change the red button's text to decrement. Like so. We want to have this button next to each other. So we're gonna add some style. So display inline block like so copy this one paste it right here and i'm also gonna change the class to class name like so and same thing with this one all right so let's save this file Like that and let's go to the application okay everyone so this looks really nice and i don't know what you think but i think this looks amazing uh, with some styling it makes programming much more fun okay so we got a nice black background we have two buttons we have an increment with green color we have a decrement with red color we also have this uh, h1 uh, title with a counter and zero. So this looks beautiful. Let's go to the next part, part number two, and start to implement some more Redux code. All right, so let's do this. Let's go to part number two. Okay, everyone, so I hope you successfully set up this beautiful application. And let's go to part number two. Just click on this image to go to part number two and see you there.